Hi again, everyone. Dan Kelly as we head for sudden death overtime in this second game of the Stanley Cup final series, recapping the third period and a great hockey game. Bob Ganey gave the Canadians the lead from Jarvis and Hull at 12-12. Just around the 15-minute mark, Ivan Cornoyer had two sensational tries for a goal. Gary Cheevers making remarkable saves. The Bruins came right back, and they tied the game. Rick Smith scoring from Cashman and McNabb at 15-48. That tied it at 2-2, and now we are on sudden death overtime. Of course, last year, you'll uh, you'll recall, in the fourth and final game of the final series, in Boston, the Canadians won the Stanley Cup in overtime in the fourth game of that series. We're going to have a little bit of an overtime chit-chat with a great star, a Hall of Famer, John Bellavo, and a newcomer to the National Hockey League, rookie Mike Bossy of the New York Islanders. John, if I didn't know you so well, I might say we could call this interview or this session the old and the new, but uh, I know you're a nice guy and you wouldn't like me to introduce you like that. Uh, John is still active, of course, uh, as the vice president with the Montreal Canadiens, a member of the Hockey Hall of Fame, and John, you scored uh, one big overtime goal for this Montreal club. That was in the 1969 Stanley Cup semifinals against this Boston. Yeah, I believe you so. Well? Against, against Boston, uh, second overtime. Yeah. Uh, kind of game like tonight. Uh, if I remember right, the uh, score was three to two. Uh -huh. uh, that puck went around the board, and Fergie run. A, I think Ori was playing, and Fergie went after Ori. Ori threw that puck around, and Provo just got it inside the blue line. And I just uh, give it, implode a little yell. And uh, Green was uh, playing and tried to stop the cut, but I just had time to wrist shot, let it go. And about the same uh, play that uh, Bob Gainey uh, shot for his, uh, for his, uh, his second goal tonight. And that goal won the series against Boston and sent you to the final we, against St. Louis, and you won the Stanley Cup that year. went to St. Louis after. Mike Bossy, uh, your first uh, Stanley Cup overtime game uh, was game two of uh, a series earlier this year against the Toronto Maple Leafs, and Dingo, you get a goal in it. Yes, I scored uh, the goal in that overtime game. Uh, I had at least three tries to get it in, and uh, the puck kept on bouncing out, and finally I, I was able to swipe it in. Mike, uh, just a sensational season for you. Uh, 53 goals as a rookie, and uh, you're not playing at this point, and I know that has to be disappointing, but, uh, John, what a future this young man has ahead of him. Well, uh, start uh, like that. it's certainly nice to see youngsters with uh, great talent ahead coming up. It's good for the game. And uh, allow me to take this opportunity to congratulate Mike on this fine year. Uh, he made some uh, great play, great goals. Uh, certainly like his wrist shot. <laughs> Gets it away uh, rather quickly, doesn't he? It's certainly nice. Today you see too many slap shots, and especially when a guy has to take a long wind up. That's why you see too many of those slap shots were deflected, because the guy take a long wind up. But it's nice to see a uh, youngster coming up with such a great wrist shot. John, what about uh, this hockey game so far? It's been, I said, a, a great game. Well, I think it's a, it's a great uh, Stanley Cup game. Uh, it's a, a very tough game uh, out there. Uh, maybe most of the fans don't really notice how the holding is there tonight. Uh, uh, every time the, there's a player uh, against each other, you see a stick if uh, the player is defending. And it's very tough to uh, uh, carry a player on every play. It reminds me some of the game we had with the Leafs uh, many years back. And, uh, but uh, in a Stanley Cup, when you reach a Stanley Cup Finals, uh, if you expect that you won't be checked, uh, don't be out there. Don't expect that. Uh, the Stanley Cup is uh, it's hard to get. And, uh, I remember when I was captain, I used to tell the youngsters, uh, we're close with it, maybe only uh, three or four games. It might take many years. I know many great ones who uh, are naming Gadsby for 20 years, yeah. a great hockey player, and never won a Stanley Cup. So, uh, you know that you're only three or four games away, and uh, everybody gained a little bit, a little more out there. Mike, what are your impressions of uh, this game? Well, it's uh, it's a nicely played hockey game. Uh, Boston has come back and uh, really played well tonight, uh, considering their performance uh, the other night. And uh, Canadians missed a lot of chances, especially Pierre Mondou in the first period, and uh, Ivan Cournoy uh, in the latter part of the third. And then you had. Boston, uh, Jean Rattel missed a couple of chances. Uh, it's going to be a, a real tight-checking overtime period, and, and it might even be a fluky goal that wins the, uh, the game. John, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, it seems in overtime in recent years, the teams seem to open up more quickly than they used to. They, it seems to me in uh, 10, 15 years ago, they used to play more cautiously in overtime. Uh, do I have the right uh, track yeah. on that? Well, 
You're probably right. I think as a whole, we all recognize that uh, uh, hockey is uh, maybe a little faster than 10, 15 years ago. And uh, I suppose that uh, both teams try to uh, use the element of surprise, hoping to get a quick goal. And uh, on many occasions, uh, it had happened. Are you looking for uh, both teams to go right after? Well, right the, away? Way, uh, the way they've been playing tonight, they've been checking very close. But I'm sure uh, that uh, they're going to certainly, uh, if the occasion or the opening happen uh, it's certainly a really good try i'm sure mike uh, one thing uh, jerry cheevers in this hockey game to me is uh, looked like the cheevers of all well, years ago he's he's just been remarkable well jerry terry is, is a great goaltender and he uh, he likes to challenge the <coughs> the hockey players who who come at him and shoot and uh, he's had a lot of success with it tonight especially against ivan cornelier once in the third period where he tried to pass it to uh, to risebro at the corner of the net and uh, if he keeps on coming up with a big save from the overtime period, uh, they just could win the game. But then again, you have uh, Guy Lafleur and, and, and Shutt and Lemaire and Cornwall, who's the fast skaters on the Montreal team that just could uh, break it open. Let's give you fellas an opportunity to say what you think is going to happen and perhaps who's going to win the game and who's going to score the goal. Mike, we'll start with you. You're the young guy and the rookie. Well, uh, Montreal's a heavy favorite, and I, and I, I predict Montreal will will win it and and I maybe give it to uh, Le Fleur who hasn't had very many chances to score tonight or uh, Yvan Cornway who has missed a lot of chances. You go along with that thinking Mr. Well, Vice President. Well I have no other choice. But, yeah but I'm going to take Le Maire. You're going to take Le Maire. Yes. That's John Bellavaux and that's Mike Bossy. We thank you fellows uh, for bringing back some memories uh, Jean of your overtime goal and for Mike's overtime goal of not uh, very long ago earlier this year in the Stanley Cup playoffs. We'll return with the Stanley Cup 78 in just a moment.